Hey guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. It's been quite a day. I was just literally uploading the video for the last litter that was born earlier today, the Junglo litter, and I came ac across this. So my Peruvian female has dropped and that's just a sight for sore eyes if there was ever any. Just love the Peruvians and if you've been following the channel you probably know I had a pretty rough la year last year for Peruvian so this looks like a pretty decent litter. Not a huge litter but I see quite a few nice beautiful babies there. A couple slugs as you can see. So it's been quite a day. I'm actually going to pop open a beer here because I need uh, a little refreshment and uh, been quite the day to celebrate two litters in one day. And I'm going to go ahead and take these babies out, get the mother cleaned up and clean the cage and we'll check out the babies. First I'm going to pop open that beer. You can hear the uh, top opening there. Never drank before on my channel so this is the first but uh, if I ever wanted a beer and deserved one I think it's now. So cheers to the boas. I got the mother soaking now in some lukewarm water to take the sound of the babies off of her. Incidentally she was actually quite docile. Sometimes they're a little bit tired after giving birth or for whatever reason they're not uh, aggressive. So great that uh, she was pretty easy to deal with. And there's the litter. Looks I counted uh, seven little babies. They all look nice and healthy. Three slugs in the upper right hand corner there. And it's not a huge litter but I'm really psyched because if you followed the channel last year, you know I had quite a few pairings of Peruvians. Unfortunately, I just ended up with one small litter of four babies. So this is a really good start to the breeding season as far as my first red tail litter of 2023. And there's a close up. Some really nice peaked saddles on some of them. Beautiful deep red tails. And this is actually the earliest Peruvian litter I've had. Usually I, my previous litters of Peruvians have been like late summer, August, even September. So I was, this is a bit of a surprise because she had had a shed that I thought might be the post ovulation shed, but I thought it was too early. And so I thought that the intermediate shed was the one, but apparently the earlier one was the, the one. So thought that she might not have babies until July. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys out, put them in a sterilite tub. We'll have a better look at them. We got him in a sterilite tub on paper towels. You can see there's the litter. Looks like seven really nice, plump, healthy babies. It's amazing how big these Peruvian BCC are at birth. And just some real nice looking animals at first glance. There's one in the upper left hand corner there. It's kind of in the center right now. It kind of stands out from the rest. He's got these beautiful lighter colors and these really cool peak saddles. There's a close-up of the one I was talking about and not sure if I'm going to hold any of these back but this one looks like it's definitely a standout. You know the others are real nice too but uh, we'll just have to see how they look after they get uh, shed and cleaned up. There's a slightly different view from the side but these guys will just be in here for the next week or so. I'm going to put this on a heat mat set to about 90 degrees over about a third of the tub put in some moist paper towels, keep them nice and moist, and they should shed in about 10 days or so, at which point they'll be moved to their separate tubs and offered their first meal. They're real nice babies, so I'm gonna move them upstairs where I have my other babies right now. Get them on top of that heat mat. Uh, since it's pretty late at night, I'm probably gonna go to bed soon. I'm kind of tired, but uh, in the morning I'll change the paper towels and check on them, see how they're doing. And in the meantime I still gotta clean up the female and clean the cage, so I'm gonna go do that now. Okay, I got this girl done soaking. She's nice and clean now. Looks great. She's a little bit deflated, but uh, pretty good shape considering she just gave birth to seven babies and three slugs. Of course I feed them during the gestation period so they don't get too thin. Got her in a nice clean enclosure and uh, actually she's trying to get out now so I'm actually gonna stop the video. I'll do some artsy close-up footage so you can see her beautiful markings. 
and I'm gonna give her some time to rest and recover where she'll get a nice well-deserved rat in the morning and uh, just really tired uh, didn't anticipate having two litters in one day but really happy but uh, if you do breed boas you have to be ready to basically drop everything and go tend to the babies when they fall luckily I didn't really have all that much going on today so I was able to do this but uh, it's physically demanding too, you know, lugging around all these big closures and cleaning, and cleaning them and everything. And there she is, just moving around her enclosure, probably hungry for a meal. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for updates on this litter and my other litters. Shoot me any questions you have. Thanks for watching and enjoy your boas.